So I'm Michael Morningstar, Morningstar Electric. We're up in Northern California. This is a off-grid system for an estate um, in the middle of nowhere. We've got a 40 kW solar array on top of this building, a couple of 100 kW generators. We've got eight solar, 12 kWs, and 24 uh, Discover AES batteries. We're up at a power site that's a little under a mile away from the main estate, so we're transmitting power down there on a 15 kVA power line. We've got the solar converters, Discover batteries, a lot of controls communicating via the Starlink. The Discover batteries have been really solid for us. Uh, we've had great support with Discover. Actually, I'm using Discover batteries almost exclusively mainly with the Schneider product, but this is our, our first go with the Solark. And along with the power line, uh, tr power transmission line that we're sending down to the estate, we also ran a fiber cable. We're not only uh, uh, transmitting uh, our ethernet down to the estate, but we also are doing some controls by uh, web relays. Up here, we've got the uh, array disconnects. We've got an uh, e-gauge for the AC side of this system. Uh, again, we've got two, two generators, a couple of transfer switches. Um, this is our fusing for the high voltage arrays. These are uh, high voltage sensors. So the high, high voltage array voltage uh, gets transduced down to a lower voltage. Uh, sensor hubs for the e-gauge. Link two for the uh, AES batteries. Uh, we've got a Kigo, I think this is a CCA, uh, communicating with the Kigo, rapid shutdown and optimizers. Since we have two generators here, we're trying to balance the load on both generators. So we've got duplexing relay, relays for both of the generators. Power supply is a five volt, or a, yeah, five volt power supply for the E gauges. And then down below, we've got a 12-volt uh, battery, battery charger, and an inverter. So this is taking care of uh, powering all the relays uh, and the controls for the system so that if the system fails, shuts down, uh, we can still remote monitor and control the generators and see what's going on. And then a lighting control box here too for all the low voltage lighting in the building. So a lot of stuff going on in there. So we've got 24 Discover AES 48 volt batteries here. And um, inside this gutter is a uh, 3 8 inch thick, or a pair of 3 8 inch thick by four inch wide copper bus bars. That we've got co uh, custom uh, insulators. And so the batteries are terminating onto that and as well as the inverters on the other side took great care to keep all of our communication cables um, inside their own separate gutters. And we even did that over on the other side with the inverters. So we ran uh, these two and a half inch by two and a half inch gutters uh, inside the main power gutter for the uh, synchronization cables between the inverters. Two 400 amp transfer switches. So we got an A and a B generator and so we toggle between the two of those with this transfer switch. And then this transfer switch is uh, inverter or generator power. Um, it's activated when there's an inverter failure. So inverter system goes down, uh, it'll call the system, or the controls that we built will turn on the generator and transfer over power. This is the conduit coming from the solar and a lot of the other controls that go around the property. So what we got here are our uh, combiner panels. So uh, all eight inverters combine into this inverter combiner panel. And then uh, the generator combiner panel, a branch circuit panel, and then our main, dis 400 amp main distribution panel sitting here. Because of the regulations in California and the difficulties of having like a fixed stationary diesel tank. Uh, we've got one of these trans cubes uh, for our diesel fuel. Um, it's feeding two uh, 
uh, 80 kVA generators. These are the diesel generators. Um, again, we got A and B so that we can balance the hours on both of the generators. If we have a generator failure, the alternative generator will kick on. Quite the exhaust work you've got there. Yeah. Again, a 15,000 volt transformer. So we're uh, taking the 240 volt single phase, uh, bumping it up to 15,000 volts and sending it down to the estate and then, uh, then dumping it back down. So that's a, a 43 kW array. Uh, we did things a little differently here since um, we weren't concerned too much about aesthetics. Uh, we put gutters above each subarray so that we could have access uh, to the wiring and the Tigo wiring um, for quick troubleshooting. We were kind of concerned about having to dig into the field panels um, to troubleshoot. 120 modules, 12 streams of 10 modules. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> 